What's going on guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and I'm back with my 36th weapon review from Ubisoft's latest release, The Division. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the custom P416 G3 assault rifle. But before we get into the review, here's some basic stats and weapon info for you on the P416. The country of origin is the United States of America. The rate of fire is 750 rounds per minute. The magazine size is 30 rounds. The fire type is full auto only and the reload speed is somewhere around 2.30 seconds. The P416 is designed and manufactured by Patriot Ordnance Factory and was the first manufacturer and seller of gas piston operated weapon systems on the AR style platform in the US. Founded in 2002 and headquartered in Phoenix, Arizona, POF set about trying to solve two common problems with gas impingement systems in dusty conditions found with the traditional AR-15, which are carbon fouling and a short-barreled timing issue. Through their research and development, POF virtually eliminated carbon fouling in the action and the gun runs cooler, further enhancing reliability and safety. POF USA is an industry leader in high-performance metal finishes and coatings. POF USA rifles feature NP3 coatings and hard corrosive resistance, nitride heated treated barrels and gas blocks, eliminating any requirement for lubrication. The P416 proved to be a reliable weapon in combat and drops NPCs with consistency but will require you to be on your toes in order to maximize the weapon's potential, meaning you will need to work on your control in order to keep it fully on target. It's not wild like the classic AK, but it's not a laser beam like the AUG A3. Just think you know, somewhere in between. My suggested mods would start with stability as my only knock against the P416 is how it lightly jumps around under full auto firing. In addition, a mag mod will be needed as the initial 30 rounds will not be nearly enough to keep you in combat for any extended period of time. I'm going to rate the custom P416 G3 assault rifle a 4 out of 5 stars. While it is close to a perfect score, my variant, even with the stable talent, still skitters around while under full auto firing. The damage output and rate of fire are both good and I'm not saying not to use this weapon. For me, it's just too much of a knock in the stability area to award this weapon a 5 out of 5 stars. I would rather start with a seriously stable weapon as talents and DPS are nothing if you can't keep it aimed directly at your intended target. As always, I would like to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your opinion in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. I will leave a link in the description below to my entire The Division weapon review playlist and check back daily for my newest reviews. Remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs, and loved, this has been your boy Buzz saying peace out.